I'm Jimmy. This is Chooch. Together, we're Chooch and Chang. All right, Chooch and Chang. Chooch and Chang. <laughs> right. How are you liking the V11 so far? It's fun. It's good. Yeah, I enjoy it. And uh, I want to sit down and talk to you just so that we can kind of share notes and thoughts. Oh, yeah. I think that'd be fun. Yeah. Woo, look at that thing. This thing is looking more like out of a, a post-apocalyptic science fiction movie. Yeah. Woo. You're gonna, right. you're gonna do some filming for you? Yeah. I should have my helmet on since I always tell my audience to put on their safety. Yeah. But this is nice. Oh yeah. Do you, do you feel like it's uh, set up like for, for your weight? I, it's fine? I have to take it down a curb or something. But... All right, so I'm here riding the S18, the King Song S18. Chooch brought it over and uh, I'm enjoying it. I like the shock system, it feels good. I do like how you're able to kind of manipulate it and adjust it on the fly pretty quickly. You can even kind of turn it off if you want. And with the, the shock system the way it is, you're able to uh, switch them in for the shocks that you like. The Kingsong S18 is one good looking wheel and reminds me of a Ducati motorcycle. It should be noted that this Kingsong S18 and the InMotion V11 are both pre-production versions and since eWheels.com sent these electric unicycles out for us to test, the makers have made significant changes based on the feedback they've received. For example, here's a list of all the changes already made to the final production version of the Kingsong S18. It's pretty cool to see that these companies are listening and responding to the public. For this video, I'll be capturing and sharing the reactions and thoughts of some experienced riders as they try out the world's first suspension electric unicycles. At the end of this video, I'll share with you which of these two wheels I prefer. I'm telling you, man, there's something else. That wheel, once you ride that uh, S18 and a few jumps with it, you know, ride it over some terrain, it's completely different out there. So you think this is more of an off-road machine, yeah. not a street machine. I, I took it to Denver yesterday and tried to ride it on the road. This is... not, a, not a road this racer. Not... Yeah, so I'm interested to get your take on the S, uh, you know, the S18 versus the V11. Because um, the V11 doesn't feel like an off-road machine just because it's hard to grip. It's, there's nothing it's to grip onto. Heavier too, right? It's heavier, it's like 60 pounds. Um, but I feel like it's more powerful and smooth than at least the other wheels I've tried. Here with David, or why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Hello, hello. This is David, and hi, I'm Kate. And you guys have been riding for a couple years. I got like 4,000 miles on my belt, something like that. What don't you like about the, uh, oh, the, the pads around the ankles? Everybody raved about the contour, and in theory, like it looks awesome uh, on on video. But like, I mean, I have these bang, bony little ankles, but like, it just digs into me here. Yeah. Like, I don't like the contact here. It's weird. Or this would need to be way squishier. And you can see where it's been rubbing, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's our ankle bones, basically. Or, <laughs> well, it's above, it's not literally my ankle, it's like up in here. What's weird about that, I was worried because it's so tall, uh, but you get basically no contact here, and this this is not plastic, it's like rubberized plastic. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's springy. Twisty. And so I love it. That feels awesome up high like this. Uh, at least on my, again, it might be different for everybody's shape no, it, and the length of your legs and stuff, yeah, but it, yeah. I, it feels great. I agree, I agree. It feels good to me. It's just I have nothing to grip onto. So yeah. when I'm going up a steep hill and I'm trying to yeah, push yeah. against something, yeah, I ran into ahead. some kid at the park and he was riding a, uh, what was he riding? A King Song 14D, mm -hmm. yeah, just yeah. randomly. And there's a steep hill and he just zips up it. <laughs> and here I am on this like brand new wheel that's supposed to be awesome. I'm like, oh, I can do this. Yep. And I go, I'm like, oh, I can't get the leverage. <laughs> what Chooch was doing yeah. when he was trying to put these in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sticking those on. And it, it was helpful a little bit, even though like it's not much there, it kind of helps you dig in at least a little bit, you know, push it forward. I mean, otherwise the suspension feels awesome. I can't imagine buying a non-suspension wheel again. Well, Both of these feel amazing. The new InMotion V11. It's so good! <laughs> So what do you think? 
Oh, it's super cool. It's a, uh, I mean, it's the first time obviously I've tried something with suspension, so it's a really unique feeling. I don't know, just to feel it good, but it's super smooth. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I really like it. It's, it's very, very smooth. Wheel. I don't know, the balance and the ergonomics of it feel really comfortable. Mm -hmm. And you're normally riding the... Uh, uh, I ride either the V8 or the V10F. Okay, V10F. Yeah, V8 was my first one, and I ride that mostly like around downtown if I'm just running errands and stuff. Yeah. Um, just like close to home stuff. Uh, and then if we go out together, he usually rides the Nikola and I ride the V10F. Have you, have you tried the V11 yet? No, I haven't. You yeah. should jump on that. Yeah, so I'll be curious to hear what you think. Right on. Appreciate it. Yeah. The world's just... I missed the pads already. I missed the grip where I can grab yeah, under. This is, yeah. this, this is gonna jump better. Uh, and that just feels better. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to jump on that. That's yeah. well, you probably will be able to, but <laughs> most most people won't be able to jump on that. <laughs> Yeah, the kickstand is nice. Uh, and the final one's painted black. Is there going to be any seat for this thing? Yeah, yeah, there will be a seat. The seat thing, I think, will be awesome. Yeah, I feel like for this wheel with a nice seat on it, man, this would this would just feel so stable. They're completely different wheels. By far. How does it, how does the uh, handle come up on this? So the handle Your comes button? up. There's a trigger here. Oh, okay. Push on this trigger. It's up front. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it feels pretty solid. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have a rattle with the V10 handle does. Yeah. It really does. It feels nice. It feels really like solid. a solid handle. Yeah, it feels nice. So I keep, you can't just grab it, right? You gotta bring it up, and then sometimes I miss the, so that time I hit it. Oh, yeah. Sometimes so, I like miss it, and I gotta like jiggle it to find the area, and then we'll say. And then the one thing, if you leave it like that, mm -hmm. your knee pad will get caught. And I literally almost took oh. my wall down inside my house because my knee pad got stuck on it. And I'm like, oh, I can't free, I, I couldn't free myself. Oh, and no. the wheels like powered me into the wall, and my knee pad's like jammed in the side of the thing. Yeah, so that's these things look like, like you see that gnarly little hook right there? Yeah. yeah. That'll snag right on your knee pad if you leave it up a little bit. For what it's worth, moving it like this feels great. Yeah. I wasn't uh, sure about the changed angle, but as a trolley handle, it's great. It's just at, at the lack of a carry handle. That's weird. There's no, there's no way to pick it up at all? Well, no, you gotta do this. Yeah, you have to bring it up. And then it locks level. in this middle position, and oh. then you can use that. Yeah. I just wanna check out this handle too. Yeah, absolutely. Cool, Nicola, made me up, man. We can see that it held its air. That's what I pumped it up yesterday for those other guys to ride. So I'm thinking Chooch is probably a lighter guy. Right now it's at like 120. So I'm gonna go 80. This one's ready for you too, if you want to give it a go. All right. What did you call it? Back on my what? Comfy wheel. Comfy wheel. It's so like, it's just comfortable. <laughs> it's like dialed in. Have you ever rode at nighttime with this? I have, yeah. It's, it's, like a, it's like a spotlight. It rides way better, yeah. Like, it, that's huge difference. Huge, huge difference. difference, yeah. After uh, taking out the air. Yeah. Yeah, good. So, I mean, it's so cool. That's, that's really good. 80 feels about right for you though? Oh, it feels great. Yeah, that feels, that was a night and day difference. Okay, oh, good. You guys should probably try it too. I took out about 40 PSI. It was 120, it's at 80 now. Oh, see, see if that, have you, have you rode that thing? Yeah, and, uh, yeah definitely. With the lower pressure? Not with the lower pressure. Yeah. It's super smooth. Yeah, it's so... This one's super, super smooth. Like even just the way that it turns, like it just, I don't know, it feels really good. Yeah, it's, it's good, and the pressure is probably better for you now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then just in general, like, yeah. suspension is just super cool. It's so weird getting on a wheel without suspension now, though. Like, it is the oddest thing. Yeah. But... You get spoiled by it. For me, actually, this one feels more like 
ergonomically stable and balanced. Again, different body shape, different size and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, different uh, anatomy. Um, so with uh, with the other one, it was uh, super high. So it hits me about my like knee bone. Okay. Which like after taking a few laps, like I could already feel it as like just some fatigue on my knee. So you would need some padding there, you think, or uh, would that even know, help? Maybe padding. I mean, like it already has this sort of rubber squishiness, so it's not like it was hard. It was just pressure on. That, that knobby bit of your knee. Yeah. Whereas this sits uh, just below my knee. Um, okay. It also might be that it feels more um, similar to what I've been riding, right? Either the V8 or the V10F. Like okay. it's closer to that height, and like as I as I turn into things, like where it where I leverage with my leg, like feels more familiar or comfortable. Yeah. Um, for me, actually, the the ankle um, uh, bump uh, actually isn't a problem for me. I can definitely feel it as a a new presence that I haven't felt before. You know, a few months ago, we've never had this. Yeah, and, yeah. and now this is like a, to a totally new ex experience. Yeah. I mean, before this, it was always bigger battery, more speed. Right. Bigger battery, more speed. And that was like incremental. And this is a, a big jump in the kind of progression of the EC. No doubt, the Kingsong S18 and the InMotion V11 both represent a huge leap forward in the evolution of electric unicycle technology. Both machines share the smooth ride that suspension provides, but the EUCs are quite different. Cruise to work. This one's to play. <laughs> it's like, this is great though, it's a bump. It's like just cruising over like normal bumps and stuff. Yeah. That thing is just... Say if, say if I just wanted to grab the side of this. I, mean, I could do it with that. You could like almost put a little flare on it. You know, you could grab it and do a little kick spin thing. You could put a little flare on it. <laughs> so the Nicolas. Oh yeah, the dual Nicolas. Yeah. We're supposed to be testing the brand new wheels and here we are riding the Nicolas. Yeah. <laughs> so, who will love the Kingsong S18? Enthusiasts looking to add a sleek and sexy electric unicycle to their collection that looks amazing and has a great suspension system will not be disappointed by the S18. The Kingsong S18 is sporty and looks like a street racer, but riders who have a need for speed or like to ride long range may be left wanting more from the top speed of 31 miles per hour in the advertised range of around 44 miles. The Kingsong S18 shines best off-road and for jumping. The paneled body and the open exterior looks great, but I wonder how the body will hold up long-term to off-road tumbles and falls. Who will love the InMotion V11? Those looking for a well-rounded workhorse EUC will find the InMotion V11 to be a smooth and powerful machine that will transport you in comfort, dampening bumps and cracks to make this one of the most enjoyable cruising EUCs around. Jumpers and tricksters may be disappointed as the InMotion V11 is designed for the masses and not necessarily for specialist riders. Which wheel would I choose? If I could only have one wheel, I would pick the V11. Both wheels are amazing, but I'm a cruiser and I'm not a trick rider or a jumper. For me, I like the bigger battery and the higher top speed for long, leisurely rides and for taking snapshots of my wheel in new locations for Instagram. That's my thing, so I love the kickstand feature. That's why I would pick the V11. If I could have only two wheels, the Kingsong S18 would be my head-turning sexy wheel that I would love to have in my collection. Regardless of which wheel I get next, I do know one thing, my next EUC will have suspension. Let me know which suspension EUC you think is best and why in the comments below. Thanks for watching and remember to wear your safety gear. Well, I will tell you the genealogy, okay, behind this EUC thing, yeah. because I purchased my first EUC using your affiliate link, all right? Yeah. So I, in a way, I feel like you're my grandpa, or we're, you're, you're, we're related. That's fine. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. And uh, your claim to fame is the... I'm, uh, I'm not about claim to fame. <laughs> You have you have I the spend most. I too much time on the forum. You spend, my claim to fame. you spend a lot of time on the forum. But you have. The, tell us about your uh, document that you maintain. Oh uh, yeah, so I maintain a, a popular um, uh, database project. Mine is sort of focused on if you're going to buy a new wheel, or what uh, you know how to compare the ones that exist now and what you might want to get. So. Okay, very cool.